guys, we're at iLight Singapore 2019. It's the bicentennial edition, so it's bigger than ever with 33 installations spanning the Civic District, Marina Bay area, Fort Canning Park, as well as Singapore River. So out of these 33 installations, we're going to try out the most interactive ones and let you know how fun they really are. All right, are we ready? Yes, let's go. Let's go. Okay, this is Squiggle. So you're supposed to use the joysticks that they have there to control the colors that are coming out from all these squiggly lines. Time to squiggle. Let's squiggle. Let's wiggle. squiggle. Woo! It's interesting because they all look like snakes and gummy worms in the dark. Whoa! It's changing colors. Well, Samja, what do you think about squiggle? I kind of liked it. I mean, visually, it's such a treat. You know, it's really good for the gram. Plus, the really scenic backdrop of the Marina Bay Sands area. So, out of five, what is your fun fact to score? Should we just give it a three? Yeah, yes. because, I mean, it looks great. Yeah, you can be moving a joystick, but you don't really see it translate as quickly. Mm. Uh, so, you're going to have some patience. If you want more change with the joysticks, then go and play video games. Okay, so this is Shadow Exposed. Essentially, it's a projector screen that you see behind us, and it's projecting a bunch of moving images, and we're supposed to use our shadows to interact with it. You know when you're watching a movie and you don't want people to stand in front of the projector? <laughs> yeah. This is the exact opposite. You're supposed to stand in front of it and contribute to the installation. Okay, let's go try it. So, what do you think, Senjo? Not bad, quite fun. I felt like a kid again, you know, prancing around and looking at my own shadow. In okay. fact, this attraction seems more popular with kids because adults have a bit of like, you know, inhibition. They're like, oh, should I make a fool of myself? It's quite fun for the gram because, you know, you're casting shadows. Yeah. You can do a little like a boomerang. Fun fact, you're out of five. How did you rate this? I would give this either a two or a three. What about you? I'll give it a three. Let's go to the next one. Let's go. Ah! Okay, this is Shades of Temporality. Okay. No. It's basically a virtual reality paint wall. <laughs> so you carry a long paintbrush huh. and you press the button, brush against the wall. Images will unfold. Shall we go? Yes. Okay, let's grab a paintbrush. It's so pretty. Did you pass art Everything class? Paints with pass I passed art. it with flying, flying colors. colors. Shades of temporality. It's really inspiring. Like painting has never been so easy. A fun factor. A five. I, would, I swear. Yes, I totally agree. I would give it a five. It's Probably. pretty cool. It like, is. you know, uh, you just press a button and you can see artwork unfold in uh -huh. front of you. And you see like shades of Singapore, you see yeah. nice gravity art, psychedelic colours. Yeah. Always a nice time. Beautiful. Let's get painting. Bye. -bye. Behind us is the floating lighthouse. It's so basically a bunch of boys and floats that can light up and make music when you press the buttons. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, do you like pushing those buttons, oh, Friday? I always push your buttons. I know. <laughs> Time to push some buttons. Oh, there we go. I hear some rumbling. Good. Nothing's happening. I feel like. Oh, the thing, yeah. <laughs> hmm. What do you think? I, I thought it was cute for like five seconds and then I kind of lost my patience with it. So a little bit disappointing. I was hoping for more interaction. I thought it was a little bit all over the place. Like I was pressing the buttons and sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. I didn't really see a direct cause and effect with what I was pressing and what was mm -hmm. actually being shown um, on, on the boy, you know, the, in terms of the lights and the sound. Okay, fun fact to out of five, what is your score? Oh, I will give you a two. I'm sorry, but... Well, yeah. that is the same for the two of us. So we have Fort Canning Park for keys of light. Basically, you play on the piano keys here and light will pop up there on the lighthouse. Okay, so Friday and I have special performances and compositions prepared for y'all. Mm -hmm. Please get ready your ears for this. Yes, yes wear earphones. The sweet Okay, obviously we're no great A pianist, but we tried and I actually found it super fun. What fun factor, how much will you give it? Honestly, I'll give it a four because you know if you don't really know how to play the piano, it's still fun to play. If yeah. you bang on it aggressively, you can see like an explosion of flowers. Yes. And then if you like gently, like you know, just caress like the keys. Dance yeah. Passions. You can see exactly. Yeah. So for that I would give it 4.5. 4.5. So that was quite a walk. It was quite exhausting, but 
absolutely worth a visit, right? Worth to visit. Okay, which is your favorite installation of all the My favorite was the piano keys of light, the one with the lighthouse and the flowers, just because I felt it was the most magical. It, it made me feel like I was a musician, even though I'm clearly not. You are not. Well, for me, it was Shades of Temporality because I feel like it really ignites the, the inner art in the artist in you, even though you're not really an artist. That was my favorite. That was your favorite? Yeah, I really enjoyed that too. But come and check it out for yourself. So, I like Singapore running from 28th of January all the way till 24th of February. The installations are free for you to see, good for the gram. So, what are you waiting for? What time do you guess what? What? I like, I like. <laughs>